guys welcome to my channel if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and let's get on with the video so today I am going to be painting my old pencil case and my old pencil case is from WH Smith and it's not even that old but it just I don't know all the paint started like coming off and it just looks really weird now so yeah as you can see, I'm just putting a lot of pens in my pencil case so it's easier for me to paint on and the surface is like slightly more flat. So I did a test run on this pencil case to see if the paint would stay on. Like I painted a little bit of white on the sides and it stayed on so that's how I know I can paint on it and it will work. So you might want to do that on your pencil case before you try this. So I'm just using nail polish remover or you could use hand sanitizer but at this current period of time if you have that much hand sanitizer then I am shocked. So I'm just using nail polish remover because it takes off the colour and I don't know if it will work on all pencil cases but it worked on mine so that's what I did. I just took it off a little, I didn't spend too long doing this because we were going to paint over it anyway and if you want to know I used normal acrylic paint. So I just used normal acrylic paint and like went for it. So I think the reason the paint sticks on this pencil case quite well is because it's kind of like fake leather so it has a very textured surface such as a canvas also has quite a textured surface and the paint stays on so I think that's why it stays on this pencil case and as you can see I was using purple and a sort of like light blue to blend into each other so the light blue would be at the top, the purple at the bottom I just blended them together quite simply you don't have to be good at painting to do this, it's actually quite easy So you do have to keep in mind you might need one or two layers for the paint to like stay and be thick enough as in like cover the original pencil case because as you know my original pencil case had like spots on it and if the layer of paint is too thin you'll be able to see the spots so you have to keep that in mind. Okay, so I think that this is my second layer of paint, but I can't actually tell from the video, so don't worry, just do two layers of paint and you should be fine, but obviously do make sure your pencil case will keep the paint on, because otherwise it's not really much use, is it? Now I was inspired by another WH Smith pencil case. And it was basically one with all these little butterflies on and I thought it was so adorable so I decided to do some butterflies on my pencil case too. So basically I just got some paint and just drew butterflies. Painted butterflies. You know what I mean, right? And in the um, bottom right hand corner you can see the pencil case I was inspired by. And you can also see I changed into a onesie because I was cold, so... <laughs> so I basically just kept painting my butterflies in different like directions and just filling up as much space as I could in the bottom bit of the pencil case before I could start adding any detail, which I did using black paint, as you will be able to see later. So... This is where I'm adding the detail and I basically got some black paint and I went around the edges and the middle bit of the butterfly, like the body bit. I don't really know precise terms of butterflies but I zoomed in a bit so you could see properly. So I was thinking hard if I should coat the pencil case with a layer of glue to keep everything on and make it shiny and stuff but at the end I didn't because I wasn't sure if it was going to work and I didn't want to take any risks. So the paint does not seem to be coming off my pencil case and it's still like flexible if you know what I mean. So I think it's going to be okay. 
but if it does start chipping, I'll make an update video and show you how, can, how you can fix that. Although this wasn't on the one I was inspired by, I decided to do a word on the top and I wrote love because I couldn't think of any other words I wanted to write before adding some white details and some white like spots and starry stuff around it. And I also did like a shadow thing with the white. So I think this pencil case looks absolutely amazing and do try this at home. It's so cheap and it's actually quite easy to do. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.